Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man. And today I'm going to talk to you all about your comfort zone and how dangerous it might be. For people of God and moving closer to God, when you ask God for things, things will happen. And I did blur the background so you don't see random people or cars just pop up. So you guys focus on the message versus what you see because that's actually how a lot of YouTubers and how a lot of TikTokers and a lot of just a lot of people online deceive. They they show you what you see and then people believe it and they're fascinated by it and they follow it and accept it as knowledge. Another indicator of being comfort. This video applies to several different things, but if you're someone who is comfortable in life, but you still have goals, you still have aspirations, if there's things that you have, you desire, you want to set out for, you'd like to achieve and you're comfortable, that's the downfall. Time is a very... It's a very interesting mechanism. It's a very interesting thing. It can either be on your side or against you. But when it comes to our goals, our asp and this, my YouTube channel is about helping you guys achieve all your goals, if you guys couldn't tell. I put pressure on people to make new people, to help people get to where they want to be, to help people set out and achieve every aspect about their lives that they ever, ever set out to achieve. If you're someone who wants to do better with finances, your love life, your self-love life, which is more important than your love life because one comes before the other, which I've made videos about. Your spirituality. Yeah, your spirituality, your physicality, your mental well-being, your emotional state, your your future goals. It could be with, like I said, it could be any one of these. It could be uh, you being in tune with your guides, for example. It could be anything you desire. Maybe you want to be a master numerologist. Maybe you'd like to be... Uh, it could be anything. This entire video and my entire YouTube channel is helping you guys get to where you need to be. And that is only through God. But after you pray, you act. You don't just pray. Faith without works is dead. When you pray and you pray and you pray, you can pray all day and nothing will change if you don't put in action. Action could be the smallest thing. It could be the, the, it could be the tiniest thing. A lot of people who are the mo the world's most luckiest people ever are people who, if they play up, if they play a scratch off even once, a Powerball once, that person's most likely gonna win, and it's gonna look like magic because that person they have that gift. <laughs> but you, you you really can't tell unless you get out of your comfort zone. Now it might take a few tries for some people. It might be several times, but when it comes to your comfort zone. Your comfort zone can last for years and years and years and years. And we think about it like this. It might be comfortable to be where we're at. We're, we're comfortable in the moment. It's a temporary comfort. But that comfort doesn't have stability to it. That comfort's not an, an aspect that is, has longevity. It's not something that lasts. And you know it doesn't last. But are you going to wait for the last second for it to be removed? for you to be outside of your comfort zone, which can be years down the line. You can be out of your comfort zone when it's too late. Or when you ask the most high God, when you ask of God and you ask, okay, I, I, don't, I can't see everything myself. Everything's not my own understanding. I trust in your understanding, Lord. And you'll talk to God. You'll be like, okay, and be authentic, be pure, be sincere. Ask for help and you'll get the help, but it won't come the way you'd, you, you ever even seen it. Because people want their lives to be mystical and dreamy and fun. Yeah, life can be like that, but usually the most unheard of things will happen to someone before the biggest blessings come. The person will get moved. The person, uh, maybe the person won't have to move. And they, it's, just, it's just something that pops up. It's just fun. That's a good example for the people who know. Uh, <laughs> uh, it could be a fun opportunity. It could be a not fun opportunity, etc. But the thing about that is you're, you'll get moved around in order to grow, in order to flourish. And there's so many reasons you guys can't see behind why things happen. The reasons you can't see things, it doesn't matter what you can or can't see. When it comes to God, what you can see doesn't matter. It's in front of your face, but you can't see behind your back. You can't see behind the scenes. You can't see behind fine lines. and You can't see all these different things you, you don't have control over. You give it to God, and he helps you get to where you want to be. But sometimes it feels like things get crazy and things get uncomfortable. But from chaos comes order. 
a lot of these people who are uh, very successful entrepreneurs, very success successful business people, very successful YouTubers, that all came from chaos. So a lot of these YouTubers, a lot of these TikTok people who are very viral, they've had one viral video that got them to where they want to be. If you don't believe that, there's a someone has a, a, a video of a golden retriever online, that person has like 20 million followers on their account, for, for people who know that video, and it was one video. You can post every single day, but all it takes is that one day. Same thing with, uh, it's just, that's the thing, for people who want to become vloggers, video uh, editors, whatever you want to do, just do it. Get out of your comfort zone and make it a normal. Then guess what happens? Outside your comfort zone becomes a new comfort zone. But your, your old comfort zone, imagine, okay, for the people who, who don't know how, to, how this at all applies to their life, look at yourself from a year ago from now, or two years ago, three years ago, or even a, state, a, a point in your life where you're just not happy. And you're comfortable, but you're not happy. Can those two go, can those two fit? Can you be comfortable and not happy? Yeah, most people are. People are very comfortable to where they're at because they're afraid of not being more unhappy versus when chaos comes, that person ends up being happier because the person was had some form of energy moved around in their life to the point where it benefited them. Now, when it comes to being comfortable, everyone craves comfort. But the thing is, when you ask God for certain things to happen in your life to achieve certain goals, and I do highly suggest making very specific goals, things can get very crazy right after you ask. People don't put this together. People are like, uh, I asked, ooh, and this is a good one, I asked God to, to help me become a lottery winner, and uh, now uh, my whole entire family is like, they're feuding, and all this crazy stuff is happening. I, if you couldn't tell from my videos before, it means wish granted, and something from that that this disorder is going to get you outside of your house walking down the street and playing a scratch off and now that the, that comfort a little bit of discomfort that made you walk down the street and just do something different that day i'll give you another example for example some of the uh some really really important people in my life who i've met a long time ago or even important events it's someone that one restaurant that I usually go to is shut down or closed, and I'm just like, where am I going to go today? God, show me where to go today. And you guys, if you ever see me in uh, in the gym, when I'm driving, on the beach, I'm always talking to God. People wait till Sunday. And don't wait till Sunday to talk to God. Talk to God always, because he's always with you. People think that God, and that's one thing people, when, when they do bad, they don't really see is God's always with you. Even when you're doing good, when you're doing bad, he's always with you. He's all around you. He's in every atom of everything. And he's always going to be with us. So we can always talk to him. Uh, that's the thing. Like When you ask for something, an indicator that your wish is being granted is that things get crazy. And what does crazy mean? Fights, arguments, uh, new challenges, you being put in new places. Uh, even if it's... I mean... It doesn't matter. It's just any form of disorder, any form of what you see as a challenge is probably getting you to where you want to be. If that wasn't there, you'd still be in your comfort zone. Comfort zone, maybe you're at home in front. Of, you're at home in front of the TV, uh, hoping something comes your way. And then a year goes by and then two years goes by and then three years goes by. And you're like, well, I hope something comes my way. Seven years goes by. 10 years goes by now you're kind of com you're really comfortable and this is for the people who don't ask god for help because when you do ask god for help things will get crazy it's like what's another example now that's an indicator of someone who hasn't been talking to god very directly because if you say god can you place me exactly where i'm supposed to be he's, he's gonna answer your prayer he's gonna answer it very fast and you're not gonna when he answers it you don't think that it's him answering it but that's exactly what it is <laughs> uh Another example, um, it's very, we, we can't ever understand how God works. And hopefully the person who pulled up doesn't make a bunch of noise, but, uh, because there's kids on the beach, but it's kind of cloudy and rainy today. 
I jinxed it. <laughs> when it comes to uh, just how the challenges that come into your life are actually just moving you closer towards getting you to where you want to be. I'll open up the window because the person has the person has their radio on or they're uh, blasting some kind of melody or on the phone. Someone I'm not sure what that was, but it's not going to interrupt my video. <laughs> Now maybe you guys can hear me a little better. When it comes to that, another challenge is, okay. And it, like I said, we can't ever 100% see how things are turning out for us and what kind of challenges. And I'll give you an example for me today is I couldn't find socks and I was trying to go out. And because I, I got new socks, okay? So... I threw out the old socks and I couldn't find any socks. I'm like, I can't leave my house without socks because I'm going to the gym. It's a very small thing, but 30 minutes goes by and I'm looking for socks. And I'm like, <laughs> it's one little tiny thing. And I just, in the moment, I ask God, okay, God, please show me. Please, God, show me. And uh, I stepped in water and I had to, and I stepped backwards and something about the pattern of my steps led me into finding socks my uh my uh, regular pair of socks i'm just like i just started pondering i just started thinking about it I'm like so i took two steps backwards i stepped in water i stepped forwards and i was extremely uncomfortable but it helped me find what i was looking for <laughs> how can this apply to your life do you feel like you're going two steps backwards do you feel like you're stepping in water and uh or stepping in mud or it just feels generally unlucky for you. Do you take what you have presented to you as a, as a challenge, as a form of bad luck, or some kind of circumstance that's getting you to where you want to be? If you more so roll with the hits of life, and they're not hits. They're not hits. They're, uh, actually, they are hits. They're hitting you upward, but it's not comfortable when you're hit. It's like, ooh. Instead of her, if you fight the hits, if you're not grateful for everything that happens, and you won't get to where you want. You'll get to where you want to be, but very slowly. Because it, when you, because when we ask for these things, say, okay, God, can you please move things around? In my favor in life, can you please get me to where I'd like to be? And then things happen, but you start complaining. What is that? And you can't see that God answered things like that for you. You can't. You cannot see that He answered things in a very specific way, in a way that you can't imagine. Lean not into thine own understanding. Trust in God, because whatever just happened that was super uncomfortable, super inconveniencing you, uh, just it got you a little closer to a little closer to where you wanted to be, even though you thought you went backwards. As the, an example, with the stepping backwards and then stepping into a water bowl. Uh, that's exactly the thing. So if you're if you're just if you control your emotions, if you're happy, if you monitor your temper, then you'll and just trust it be like whatever you got i mean god god whatever you're doing whatever your guides are helping you do trust it they're not doing anything against you your god most importantly and your guides are not unless you're a bad person and doing re really really bad things uh that's it everything is working out in your favor and you just you just have to assume that so your comfort zone consists of things that don't work out in your favor if God didn't care, if your guides didn't care, you'd be in the same exact place you are, comfortable but unhappy. So your comfort zone is essentially deadly. The way out of it is asking God for help to remove you out of your, out of whatever kind of, uh, you don't even know you're being moved out of your comfort zone. Ask God for whatever needs to happen for you to get to where you would desire. It could be whatever. It could be absolutely whatever. You're going to get there, but keep in mind, and this is a sign of wish granted, when things get crazy and wildfire and nuts, and you're just like, hey, it feels like everything's falling apart. Well, sometimes a tower that's this big, that's this long, will fall apart so that it's reorganized to go directly upwards and to become much higher. So if you have any questions, guys, ask them in the comment section. If you're seeing any form of chaos after asking for something of God, 
don't fight it. Don't get, don't complain. Because it's basically stuff working out in your favor and you being put at a different place in time to achieve absolutely everything you desire. Absolutely everything. But we can't, we can't even perceive that. Think about it like this. You trying to think about what God's doing for you to get you to your goals is like you trying to imagine a color you can't see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, octopus can see colors we can't imagine. So that's you basically trying to ponder what the craziness in your life is going on. Because you can't see it. You can't see behind your back. <laughs> Unless you... <laughs> I don't know what... No. You can't. There's no exceptions. I mean, spiritually, you can. You can actually view behind your back, but you can't physically see out of your behind your back. That's what God's there for, to get you to your highest purpose. If you have any questions, guys, ask them in the comment section. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Ciao!